Hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, otherwise known as Puglo Escobar. And that damn raccoon shot me at the start of the video, didn't he? Wretched swine. Okay, well, we're here to have a look at the, uh, the Queenie Issy uh, Sports today, ladies and gentlemen. Retailing for a price of $897,000, just a shade under the million there. Uh, and I'm sure you'll agree that uh, that's really a rather steep price tag for a mini, don't you know? Okay, but he's under the million dollar mark, ladies and gentlemen, so let's take a look at it, shall we? We're going to take it out on the street and see how she handles. Okie dokie. Now, with that uh, rather short wheelbase, as it does have, ladies and gentlemen, makes it a rather nippy car, you know? Very, very good handling, and it is uh, it is the sports weenie, ladies and gentlemen, so it's got quite a bit of speed. And whoops, it is okay. There I go, rolling over on my uh, roof, don't you know? <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna uh, get on, uh, get a little bit of speed down this straight here, ladies and gentlemen. See how she goes. As you can see it's getting up a little speed. It's uh, not exactly going to rival supercars, you know, ladies and gentlemen. But it's not bad for a weenie. Okay, Koki, okay, gonna try and slide between those two cars. Uh, that busting that car, I should say. Okay, managed to pull that off rather lucky if I do say so myself. Okay, now we're uh, coming on down this bottom left-hand corner, and I get ran by a raccoon, don't you know? And he goes flying off, and <laughs> I'll teach you a sodding raccoon. Okay. Okay, there we go. Well, we've completed the uh, the first standard lap, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to take the vehicle on into the uh, the custom auto shop now and uh, have it uh, have it modified, don't you know? And uh, we have been joined by my good friend, Mr. Raccoon, don't you know? Uh, and his name's the Bromby. He has a channel of his own, you know. If you type the Bromby into YouTube, you'll be able to check out some of his videos. And uh, why don't you go and do that? Okay, now we're going at double speed as we always do during this stage of the video, ladies and gentlemen. And like I say, just giving you a chance to have a look at uh, some of the more aesthetic stylings that can be affected to your vehicle, you know. Uh, I have gone ahead and done uh, all the upgrades, or at least all but one, you know. I do sort of forget to go ahead and uh, do the engine upgrade, would you believe? A shocking oversight on my behalf. Uh, but there we go, and so when we take it out to the street, ladies and gentlemen, we're not really going to get a, uh, we're not really going to get the full upgraded uh, test lap, and that really is rather unfortunate, you know. Okay, well, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're taking it out. Now that is uh, Mr. Raccoon in his uh, his own weenie issy sports, don't you know? I'm tailing, uh, trailing along behind him there. As I said, I haven't done my engine upgrade, uh, but as you can see by, uh, by me clipping the uh, the lamppost there on the inside corner, ladies and gentlemen, this really does have some very sharp steering. I know it's a daisy, okay, I've got a wretched car, have I, sonic hell. Okay, then, ladies and gentlemen, so what do we think of the weenie issy sports? Well, to be quite frank with you, ladies and gentlemen, not all that bad, you know, it's under a million dollars, it's very fast, or at least nippy, you know, it's got quite good top speed, uh, good handling, and good acceleration, you know, certainly not going to compete, as I say, with any supercars, you understand, uh, but for under a million dollars, for a sort of a uh, small hatchback car, yes, it's very, very good indeed, you know, not bad at all, I'd say, uh, quite impressed with it, really, if you're uh, uh, making a Wissy, uh, an e a weenie collection, and I can't imagine why who would be uh, i am and i can't understand it myself you know uh, it's certainly worth purchasing okay now we're going to take it all up to the track now ladies and gentlemen here we go and the first car we're going to go ahead and put it up against is the fista comet retro you know the fista comet retailing for a price of around a hundred thousand dollars uh the upgrade or rather the downgrade whichever way you want to see it in order to turn it to the retro version takes up to around about seven hundred thousand in that sort of ballpark ladies and gentlemen uh, so still a couple of a good couple of hundred thousand short of uh, of the uh, price tag of the Wheenie Issy Sports there and the Wheenie Issy Sports for that extra two hundred thousand dollars or so. Yes, it's going to make it across the line first, and we may well expect that. Okay, now this is the Obey Eight Drafter, ladies and gentlemen, again in a very similar sort of price range to the uh, to the Wheenie Issy Sports. They're a little bit cheaper, I believe, not entirely certain of the price, uh, around seven eight hundred thousand dollars, I do believe. Uh, and what are we seeing here? Okay, well, the Weenie Issy Sports, like I said, the more expensive car, did make it round that corner first. And yes, it's making it down that back straight first as well, isn't it? Okie dokie, yeah, and I should think it's going to take it all the way down to the, to the bottom end there, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, that's pretty much what we're going to see, isn't it? Okay then, jolly good. Well, now this is the Vapid Flash GT, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now, uh, the OBA draft was $700,000. The, uh, the Vapid Flash GT, this is $1,675,000. So this is uh, sort of $700,000 more than the Weenie, if you want to look at it that way. 
Uh, and what do we see? Well, there we go. The other oh, weenie got around the corner first, you know, and the Vapid FMJ, or no, the Vapid Flash uh, GT, I should say, is actually sat behind it, you know, and the Vapid, uh, the Vapid Flash there has got some very good acceleration. It's not a, not a bad car by any exact, uh, any imagination, stretch of the imagination, and yes, well, there we go. The weenie SE Sport made it across the line ahead of the, uh, the Flash GT, so that really is rather interesting. Like I say, 1.6 million for that Vapid. Uh, Okay then, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Now this is the uh, the uh, Fister Comet SR, don't you know? One of the top end uh, comets, or the Fisters there, I should say. And as you can see, as we're going down there, sort of uh, to a uh, sort of fighting for the lead, really, aren't we? I think I came into the back of him there, to be quite frank with you, but it's not going to stop me. Yeah, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. A seriously competitive sports car is not going to be uh, held up by the. Uh, by the weenie easy sports but what do we think of it ladies and gentlemen well it's not bad you know for all the money and mr raccoon they're trying to shoot at it yes okay that reminds me of what he did earlier in the video you know yes mr raccoon why don't you just look at that's my chance okay here you go sobbing raccoon down you go sunshine ha 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 yeah so go ahead and buy the weenie easy sports it really is very good i do hope you've enjoyed this video and as always thank you for watching